Alright, what's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can go ahead and embed a Google Map inside of your Shopify store. So, it's really quick and easy, and if you have a local business with a physical location, then this is something you can do to go ahead and give customers a visual representation of where your store is. So there's a lot of different places that you can put this map, but in this specific example, I'm gonna be showing you how to put it on the contact page. So if we come down here to online store and click on pages, I'm gonna go ahead and just open up the contact page. Now you could also put this on like the about page or a few other places in your store, but in this case, we're gonna put it on the contact page. So we can see right here, this is the contact page we have currently. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and put the map uh, right below this text and right above this contact form. So in order to set this up, all we have to do is head over to Google and we're just going to go ahead and search for maps and we're going to open up uh, Google Maps here. And then we're just going to go ahead and put in a random area. So in this case, I'm going to just uh, pick a city real quick. And of course, what you would want to do is go ahead and put in um, your business address. But I'm going to just go ahead and search a city real quick. And let's say that you owned um, this specific Whole Foods right here. So this was your address. So once you have went ahead and put in your address and you've selected um, the exact address, all you have to do is come over here and click the share button. And then we're going to come in here and select embed a map. And then right here on the left, we can see that it's going to go ahead and show a preview of what the map's gonna look like. And we can see that we can change its size. We can make it small, we can make it medium, or we can make it large. Or if we don't like any of these sizes, we can go ahead and make a custom size. So if you wanna go ahead and have a um, custom size you can go ahead and edit the dimensions right here and then you can preview it so let's say I went ahead and previewed um, this size right here this is what it would look like I can go ahead and shrink this custom size down to something like this and it would go ahead and preview this different size right here so what I would recommend doing is if you don't like any of these default sizes you can go ahead and mess around by customizing different sizes and try and figure out what would look best over your store. So in this case, let's say I did something like this and I could preview it and I'm gonna drag this um, off screen just for a second and I'm gonna come over here and then drag it back on. And what this is going to do is this is going to kind of give us a visual of what it would look like on the page that we are installing it on. So let's say maybe I wanted um, the map to be just as wide as the contact form. So I'd have to come back over here and make it a little bit wider. So we could try um, 900. And if you don't have a second screen, then you can just minimize this and then bring the window back up. And then we can come look at it right here. And we can see that 900 pixels fits perfectly with the width of the contact form. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So all we have to do now is once we've selected our size, we can just click copy HTML. So this is gonna be copied to our clipboard and we're gonna come back over here to our admin. And once we're on the page that we wanna add in the map to, we're going to select right here to show the HTML. And then I'm gonna come down here at the bottom and you just wanna paste the um, embed code where you want the map to show up. So like I said before, I want the map to show up below um, all this text right here. So I'm gonna come in and click save. And now we're going to view this page again. And we can see that now the map that we just embedded in here is now loaded up right here. And it has full functionality, just like a typical Google map would. So with that said, that's how you can go ahead and embed Google Maps to your Shopify store and how you can customize the size and make it look good um, depending on the page you are putting it into. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in another video.